He's breaking the law right now. He's breaking the law. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, have a nice day. He's breaking the law. What am it, He's breaking the law. What am I supposed you to do? Video, that has got to okay? be one of the best quotes okay. of all time by a police constable. <laughs> That's brilliant. You are utterly clueless, aren't you? Novotel, Nottingham Derby, revisit. Where's your SIA? Uh, no, it's You're not allowed to be here. Where's his SIA license? Uh, You're not allowed to be here. You're what, here? Yeah. You've got like an SIA sort of... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Can you please leave? Yeah, I suppose that's whatever that is. I'm not sure what it is, but it's supposed to be a blue badge on display. You've got nothing. Where's your badge? Can you please leave? It's a private. I'm not going to leave, no. Do what you want. I'm not... You can't call the police for a civil matter. He's called Triple Nine. He's wasting police time on a Triple Nine call. I'm not even come on your site. You got like Anders Rice first and try to get to the building. That's not a bit too much. They're coming out. They're coming out. Are the police coming out? Take that as a no.
There we go then, blues and twos for a man with a camera outside of the premises. Hello mate. What's your name? I don't want to say. You just, what do you want me to call you? Sir. Sir, okay. Uh, just ask what you're doing. Making a video. Okay, making a video. What, of anything in particular? No. Okay. Well, obviously we've had a call saying that males have been protesting outside of Best West. Protesting? That's what we've been told, yeah. Alright, hello there. Hi. So you're not protesting, you're just making a video. What is this video for? I'd like to get you both in shot, that's alright. Sorry? I'd like to get you both in the camera. Oh, you don't want to, I'll do you do. You do? I oh, do, yeah. Me too, but I can't hear you. Oh, uh, well, I, yeah, I know it's a bit annoying because we're right next to the like, main road. Like this the sunshine. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what's your name, mate? I'm not telling you what my name is. You're not telling me what's your name, okay. No. So, what's your. What are you doing here? Just private stuff. Private stuff? Yeah. Should we uh, both identify? Yeah, I'm PC15542 Nastai, that's the police station. Thanks. PC31084 Alan, that's Wilson Police Station. Cheers, thanks. Do you want to identify yourself? No. Okay. okay. So, can you explain what's going on here? Making a video. Of? Well. Can you explain what you're doing here? Making a video. Well. The hotel is one of the things I'm recording. Sorry? The hotel. The hotel, okay. Well, it's not a hotel anymore, it's a private property now. Okay. And we've been told that you are trying to get into the building. You've been told incorrectly. Well, we can look at the cameras later. Yeah, you can do, yeah. Yeah, we will do. Um, so, if you do try to get into the property, obviously... Okay, don't give me advice. I don't want any advice. Well, I'm going to give you advice. I don't want any advice. Because you've been called. Okay, look, poli look. I implement the law, but don't give me advice. I don't want any advice, okay? Okay. Are you protesting or are you just making a video? I'm making a video. I'm making a video, okay. Well, you're making a video of private property, technically. Yeah, but I mean, I'm standing on public now, aren't I? Okay. Well, as long as you don't get in inside, not causing Okay, any again, issues. I don't really want any advice, if you don't mind. Okay, well, I'm giving you advice anyway. Well, I'm not listening to your advice. I don't okay, want to well, be rude, right? But I've done nothing wrong, so don't tell me what to do. Well, if you were trying to get into the building, then it's... I've already said that that's nonsense. That's, that's not true. Okay. So are you going to stay here then? Yeah, until okay. I get bored and I'll go. Okay. How long do you plan to stay here for? Just until I get bored. If, are either of you recording me? Yeah. Yeah, they're both are. Who, who signed off on the covert recording of me? You're not, it's not covert. You're it is, you didn't tell me. You don't need to tell me. Are we covert? We only need to it's covert because you didn't tell me. That's not how it works. Okay, well, you, you realise you are supposed to tell me in your policy, yeah? Have you got any more questions? No comment to that one. Uh, no, nothing else, no. So, where are you going to share your videos? Uh, probably YouTube. Okay. So, what's the purpose of this? Well, there's no, I don't really live my life by purpose because I follow a meditation teacher called Osho and he said that every purpose has an individual purpose of its own. So the whole concept of purpose is meaningless. So therefore I have no purpose. Life has no purpose. And that's why it is so beautiful. So is that what you do normally? Just like, go to place and record? Yeah, record. yeah. Nope. Okay. So just turn up to random locations and uh, record millions of people? Yeah. Do you have any questions for us? No, I didn't call you, did I, sir? No, nothing for, nothing for you. No.
Are you going to reprimand them for calling triple nine for a camera outside the property? Well, they've not called us. So. Yeah, he called us. He called you. I saw oh, him. Well. I was here when he did it. <laughs> that man there on the left called triple nine. We, we're here because we got a call from Best Western. Oh, are you? Yeah. I'm going to have my picnic here, OK? Listen to me very carefully, sir. I'm in charge of security here. Oh, no, 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 no. I've got a yogurt, but I haven't got a spoon. Oh, okay. Well, he called triple nine as well because I, I was there when he did it. So. You tried to get into that, that building over there. Um, I was on the premise. I think go in the building. Okay. I was on the grass for a bit. Spoke to a really nice security guard for quite a while. Can you tell them not to call triple nine for a man with a camera? Because it's wasting your time, isn't it? I think the issue is, obviously, they've had issues here previously. Um, so that's why they've called us. But you can't just keep calling triple nine so every time someone turns up with a camera, can you? Surely, you must see that. Is that not wasting your time? Because like, if I come back tomorrow, they're going to call you again? I don't know, they might be. It's just, why don't you just tell them, look, don't waste our time. It's, it's a joke, I mean... I'm not even on their property. But I can, also, can you not understand if you're uncomfortable because someone's stood there filming? Especially when you've gone onto their property and filmed there and we've had yeah. reports saying you've tried, so not saying whether you have yeah, reports, reports saying you've tried to get in. Yeah. Um, obviously all well, that will be looked at. Well. Yeah. Um, but you can understand why they feel a bit uncomfortable when they've got they've had previous issues with people outside trying to get in. Yeah, I get that, but I mean, there's lots of things in life that make me feel uncomfortable. I don't call triple nine, do you know what I mean? Well, just because you put into the situation doesn't mean that everyone has the same standard when they call 999. But I mean, it's an, it's an emergency number, isn't it? 999 is for emergencies. And this is clearly not an emergency, so I'm just a bit annoyed that they're calling triple nine for it. And if you don't tell them not to do it again, they're going to do it again, aren't they? Because I'm going to come back probably within a week and do this again. Okay, do you know when you're coming? I don't know yet. Okay. Is it just you or does it, do you do it for the people? Just myself. Just I'm a little bit more open with you because you're, I, I found her to be a little bit sort of pushy and bolshy, but you're, you're all right, I like you. You've been nice and friendly. Right, well, I see, my colleagues are trying to have a conversation with you. We're yeah. just trying to make sure, just find out why you're here. Yeah. Obviously, we have had previous protests. Um, at the location, which is why obviously we attended, because um, when there are protests, although people are right to protest, sometimes that, that could get... It can spill over, yeah? It could, it could stop being a legal protest and start becoming something else. Yeah. So that's obviously why we attended. I suppose at the point where it spilled into something else, that would be the time to call 999, wouldn't it? But man with a camera, I just think it's out of order. I think it's out of order, that's just my personal opinion.
last time you filmed here, is it? I'd rather not say. Huh? I'd rather not say. Okay. <clears throat> the uh, police constable over there is on the phone having a lengthy discussion with someone. Can't think what about. No crime committed, so just don't I don't get it. I don't get why this is being dragged out. These two uh, security guards here, they're both committing a criminal offence right now. Do you know what it is? What's that? SIA Section 9, you're supposed to have your SIA licence on display at all times. Neither of them have got their badges on display. Criminal offence. Okay. Well, I'll have a look at that. What, what section did you say it was? Section 9, SIA. Yeah. The SIA, what is the... Securities Industries Act, Wait. Section 9. If you Google it now, you'll see. Got to be on display, section 9. So the irony is that I've been, you've been called out by someone who's breaking the law.
security's getting told off for not having an SIA badge on display. Brilliant. That's not on display, is it? I flip it round, haven't you? You do, yeah. The constable's just googled the law, he knows what the law is now. It's got to be on display. You're going to leave it like that then? You're going to leave it like that? What is he doing? His badge is not on display, it needs to be legally. And? What do you mean and? It's the law, do you not understand? It's the law? Yeah. Okay. Well he identified himself to you, didn't he? You're missing the point, he's breaking the law right now. He's breaking the law, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, have a nice he's day. He's breaking the law, what am I... He's breaking the law, what am I supposed to do? That has got to be okay. one of the best quotes okay. of all time by a police constable. He's breaking the law, what am I supposed to do? Unbelievable. <laughs> That's brilliant. Need to don't touch me. Do not touch I'm not me. Touching you, but you're not Can I have the uh, CAD number, please, for the call out? The CAD number. C A D. What are you for? Because I'm entitled to it. You've not, record, you've not called the police, have you? I'm entitled to the CAD number of the call out. I don't think so. You are utterly clueless, aren't you? I'll give up. I'll give up with you two. Not you two, to be fair. That guy's decent. You're incompetent. That was a waste of time, wasn't it? Uh, well. That was a waste of time, wasn't
Both still breaking section 9 SIA. I'm going to be reporting both of you. Start looking for a new job. Well, utter incompetence. Utter incompetence all round, really. The male constable was all right. The female constable was utterly out of her depth. Both security, both breaking law. Police come, do nothing about it, except for a quiet word and then let them get on with it. Absolutely astounding comments from the police about being powerless to implement the law. I mean, I could go on. I think I could go on, but I'll have to review the video and, and pick the bones out of that, but that was unbelievable. War audit signing out, Novotel, Nottingham Derby. Please pop a like, subscribe, notification bell on the video, it helps a lot, and I'll see you on the next video.